today's date is uh, 26th june 2021 i have a location in uh, mind for uh, this video and uh, that's where uh, we are heading to this video will be in uh, english and uh, i would have uploaded a video in uh, tamil also uh, in the video on the tamil la paakanona link on the mail i card la varum so on the video okay i'll just uh, continue once i reach the location then what's up guys hello and welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel this is the bushwin here so we have come to this uh, beautiful location and uh, this is just on the outskirts of uh, chennai so in this video i'm going to tell you guys about the accessories and uh, modifications i've done with my xpulse 200 bs6 aka athena i could have done this a uh, long time ago just after uh, fitting the accessories but uh, i just wanted to experience the change and i wanted to make the video based on that so this is the complete modified athena version 2.0 completely accessorized and modified as well for touring i have done a number of rides with this whole setup so in this video i'm not going to just tell what are all the accessories i have added but i will also be giving a review of them as well whether it's worth and other alternate options as well and uh, at the end i'll uh, tell you the total cost so let's uh, start with the video and uh, in order to explain everything in a better way let me get into the gopro's view okay so let me start from the front first it's the visor i call it visor and not windshield because uh, it doesn't offer much wind protection and uh, i actually bought it just for the looks uh, this is just uh, 6 centimeters uh, taller than the stock windshield. Uh, it doesn't offer uh, much wind protection compared with the stock. The stock is what uh, 24 centimeters uh, in height and uh, this is uh, 30 centimeters in height. Yeah, you can see the breakage over here. This is uh, due to the Kolli Sambhavam and uh, I have attached uh, some M seal to uh, hold it but the quality is uh, absolutely good but uh, price wise it's a bit uh, overpriced and uh, there are no other options available actually other than the stock we can go for this one and uh, there are no other uh, aftermarket options for a uh, visor and uh, i bought it for uh, 3000 rupees including tax from uh, autolog design you can order this on their uh, website if you want to get one by the way i'll be adding all the links in the uh, description the next accessory is the handguard this is the mx handguard from a brand name uh, autonity mx is the model name i got it from a uh, bandido pit stop for a uh, thousand eight hundred rupees uh, i would have already mentioned in my previous accessories video that the stock ones does not uh, serve any purpose and uh, it's made of a uh, lower quality plastic so i just got this and uh, this was actually quite good i put down the bike a number of times met with a few crashes also during uh, shipping the bike fell down a number of times and uh, this has uh, withstood the impacts now the plastic is uh, broken on the left side and the metal also got bent so that's why the uh, clutch lever is uh, below the hand guard this is a good product and uh, there are actually a number of uh, options available you can uh, get a acerbis or a bog poster maybe if you have that kind of a budget this is quite uh, cheaper than the rest and uh, i just got this because of the look it gives the next one is i think this is the most useful accessories i have uh, fitted on the bike which is the ox lights this is uh, mad dog uh, scout x ox lights I got it from Bike and Biker Bangalore and uh, this completely with the harness and uh, switch costs uh, 8850 rupees the light alone costs uh, 5750 rupees and uh, harness and uh, switch costs uh, 3100 rupees actually there is a cheaper version of harness and uh, switch which costs uh, 1450 rupees the difference is uh, this is uh, uh completely waterproof the harness and the switch the cheaper one is water resistant you can uh, even get these uh, individually as well there are quite a number of options for ox lights but uh, mad dog is uh, one of the best brands and they even offer a warranty period of 18 months i've used this on a few rides and uh, 
it's been great because the stock lights are utter waste if you had uh, seen my moon or part one video you would know along with the lights i also got the aux filters from uh, mad dog it costs uh, 600 rupees we get a transparent and a yellow filter and uh, also a cover as well so this is the cover this cover and then this is the yellow filter so in order to mount the aux lights we need a clamp and i have the clamp from project 83x and i got it for 250 rupees this holds the lights perfectly for uh, this and uh, some of the other metallic mods there is a cheaper alternative available i'll uh, talk about it at the end then the crash cart i'll uh, talk about it at the end as well along with the alternatives as uh, they are from the same manufacturer next one is the handlebar wait uh, let me get on the bike and uh, show you this is another accessory that was uh, asked by many this is from uh, art of motorcycles bangalore and i got this for uh, 2000 rupees the prime reason for uh, which i change the handlebar is not for touring comfort or off roading but uh, still this is good for uh, those purposes as well the actual reason as to why i got this is the build quality you guys know the quality of the stock handlebar it's the worst but uh, what more can we expect from a 300 rupees handlebar if you have been watching my videos then uh, you would definitely know about the code is sambhavam i'll just uh, put a picture of the handlebar after uh, that incident uh, here uh, if you want to know more about that here is the link for that uh, video and uh, coming back to the handlebar of course the build quality is awesome touring comfort is uh, next level off roading is also much better only thing you need to uh, do when you decide to get this uh, handlebar is uh, you need to change the clutch cable even for the stock handlebar the clutch cable is uh, too short and uh, that was the main culprit for uh, moon or sambhavam as uh, this was the first time i'm modifying a bike i didn't know about that and uh, second culprit is of course me i should have uh, replaced it right after fitting the handlebar and uh, this clutch cable uh, it cost like what uh, 160 rupees and this is uh, quite long some uh, 10 to 15 cm longer than the stock you can use any clutch cable with a longer length forgot to mention something compared with the stock this handlebar has a height rise of around 3 inches this is even taller than the stock handlebar mounted with a 2 inch riser and then uh, this uh, is a mobile holder from uh, bobo uh, this is uh, without charger variant and uh, it costs uh, 1400 rupees the reason why i didn't go for an uh, charger variant is uh, because i am connecting a number of additional items to the battery that's why and then uh, moving uh, to these two switches over here this is the water proof uh, switch for the aux lights and uh, this is the switch for uh, acer lights uh, this is the mad dog uh, waterproof switch that i was uh, talking about I got this uh, hazard light from a local shop here in uh, Pudupet for a uh, thousand rupees. So this has some uh, 16 uh, patterns, I think. And uh, actually, the water resistant uh, switch from uh, Mad Dog is uh, same as this one. The next one is the center stand. This we can uh, get it from Hero Service Center itself. and the cost of this is uh, 535 rupees this reduces the ground clearance to some extent but uh, i haven't uh, faced an issue so far while uh, off roading then it's the side stand uh, shoe from uh, quicks i got it for uh, 750 rupees actually the side stand of expels is the worst one of the reasons why i don't get off the bike while riding in hills and uh, with this shoe it is kind of okay okay only the shoe actually helps while parking the bike in a stand slash and uh, some uneven surfaces that's all same uh, alternative at the end actually and now the saddle stay and uh, top rack these are from uh, zana and i got it from bike and biker for 2500 and 1700 rupees the top rack uh, without backrest costs uh, 
and uh, with backrest it costs uh, 2500 rupees both are of awesome quality the top rack has been uh, quite useful and i carry most of my things in uh, top box this is the top rack without uh, plate version and uh, this is my top box's uh, base plate and then the saddle stay i actually haven't used a saddle bag with my expels and uh, for me this serve the purpose of a uh, additional uh, crash guard this too had uh, withstood a number of crashes and uh, as you can uh, see i have uh, removed the sari guard from the bike for a uh, weight reduction now for the crash guard this costs uh, 1400 uh, rupees and uh, yes it's a uh, bs6 compliant as you can uh, see so yes it's a bs6 compliant this is actually manufactured by a brother from one of our brotherhood clubs in madurai he also owns an uh, expels i'll uh, put his instagram uh, page link in the description if you want to buy you can uh, ping him on instagram and uh, in the beginning i told uh, i'll be mentioning the alternatives uh, right actually bro is uh, manufacturing and uh, selling other accessories as well such as ox clamp side stand shoe saddle stay top rack at a much affordable uh, price but the quality is uh, too good why i didn't get these from him is i got to know about him just past january and i got uh, all the accessories last november itself except for the crash guard coming back to the crash guard this actually is uh, far better than the stock crash guard the stock ones cost just uh, 440 rupees just like the handlebars we can't expect uh, much out of it as you can see this uh, offers protection to the engine casing as well and the quality of the metal is also too good another uh, important accessory uh, this is by far the most important one which is a gps or a safety device as usual i'm uh, using the adjust safety device i made a separate review video on this i'll uh, put the link here and uh, the cost of the device is uh, 5600 rupees currently and uh, i got it for uh, 4000 rupees 4400 rupees at the time when i bought it and uh, i can't show the device to you guys now because it's hidden and uh, that's how you guys need to fix this device as well on your bike i have one on uh, achilles athena and also on uh, artemis as well and uh, finally it's the top box actually this is uh, not only for my athena if i could uh, fix the base plate on achilles or artemis i could uh, mount this on those bikes as well but uh, still initially i got this only for my athena this uh, actually is uh, quite expensive but uh, it's worth every rupee i got this for uh, 14900 rupees along with the backrest i don't know why i got the backrest the reason why i invested uh, this much is uh, because of the quality the bike had uh, crashed fell down quite a number of time with the top box and uh, this stayed intact it never got opened when the bike fell on both uh, crashes kodai as well as uh, koli i crashed with the top box on and uh, yes there are a uh, lot of cheaper alternatives to this and uh, this was the reason why i didn't go for the cheaper ones as for a uh, touring aspect that is uh, luggage i carry this top box with the tank bag in which i carry my electronic gadgets and uh, i just forgot to mention this is a 42 liter uh, top box and i can fit in a uh, stuff that's uh, needed for a seven day ride in this this is one of the reasons i have uh, never had the need to carry a saddle bag that's all the accessories i have uh, fitted on the bike uh, for now totally the weight of the bike has uh, increased by 18 kgs uh, without the top box the stock curb weight is uh, 160 kg and my athena version uh, 2.0's uh, weight is 178 kg the total cost of the accessories and uh, mods uh, including shipping and uh, fitting is uh, 47,925 rupees excluding top box it's uh, 33,025 rupees and uh, without shipping and uh, fitting the total cost is uh, 45,225 rupees and uh, excluding top box it's uh, 30,325 rupees i think i'll be doing a few more modifications on my athena like uh, seat and uh, tank grip and uh, yes 
Ralikit is uh, still on my list. I just wanted to do some more uh, touring on my Athena. Uh, you may ask then, what's the reason to get the Adventure 390? Uh, I'll just uh, explain it in uh, another video because uh, this video is uh, only for Athena. Okay guys, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys liked it and uh, if you did, you know what to do. Uh, do watch my other videos and uh, if you guys like my content, do subscribe to my channel and uh, finally, safety is the first priority. So always wear a helmet and uh, when you go on rides, try to wear proper riding gears. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. KD out and bye. Tambu.